All right, hey guys, I'm gonna walk you through a uh, par three here for tour 11. Uh, it looks like he's doing basically one bar of backspin here. You can see where he's aiming. One bar of backspin and basically all hook. Looks pretty good um, from my viewpoint. I, I, I try to do something similar. Sometimes I actually use top spin. Uh, he used one, one bar of backspin. Sometimes I'll, I'll even um, play it with uh, top spin and use a lot of uh, ground. But since it was downwind, I probably might have went even and just did no bars. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Um, and then you can try to get the aim down. He went super quick, so there was no real, no real time to... Um, get this video on before he already was kind of setting up so you're gonna see what I'm trying to do is probably land it about here and then have a lot of side spin on it just like you saw him so I'm going to play about since it's about a nine wind I'm gonna play it about five bars give or take uh, maybe just a little bit try to keep it on the shorter side I'm worried about it running through try to go for a perfect ball no backspin here. Um, I'm trying to skip it through, kind of take it at a better angle than he did. And it was just a little bit lazy, but you can see it's uh, well within two yards here. And you saw how much I cut that ball and didn't really have to use that slope. Um, the benefits of doing it that way is to avoid having um, having the ball uh, take too much of that slope. It'll just hit the backstop there. And when it hits just that backstop, as opposed to like just curling in the green, it doesn't shoot past the hole like you saw his do. Now, I can still make that mistake if I send it too deep there. So you gotta be real careful with, um, you know, pulling the ball, pulling, pulling your shot arrow back too deep or taking it too shallow. Uh, the difference between hitting that hole good is usually only a yard or two. So you want to be real careful that you're really hitting your marks. And if you're not, you're going to you're going to struggle and be in that 4 or 5 yard range. If you want to get inside that 2 range, you really have to hit exactly almost what what you were trying to do now it doesn't always have to be perfect ball like that's the one good thing is i had some leeway there left and right i could have probably hit a great ball on either side and it would have been very similar but uh in terms of depth you have to be right on the money i would try to keep it within two yards so if 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 you aim, one of the things that i'd suggest is if you hit uh, a certain spot that you're aiming for if you see when right when I'm about to line up my shot I'm aiming for a certain spot play the shot the way that you were going to and then if you were screwed it up well then next time just try to remember well I'll, I'll pull it in or pull it deeper uh, like two or three yards maybe and then try to do the same thing another thing to consider is if it's downwind it's gonna automatically top spin. So I was playing, I was playing no bars of top spin there, um, which was essentially for that downwind shot, adding like a bar or two. So if I would have had like a side wind, that's basically what kind of, what kind of shot I played it for was like maybe a bar and a half of top spin would be the equivalent of what I just shot there. So that's something you really have to keep in mind when you're hitting those. Um, and I'd really watch hitting hitting mile driver on this tour because you can't curl it as much, which means you really got to, if you're using mile, make sure you put a Kingsmaker on every time. You don't wanna get into one of those wins where you're really gonna struggle to, to hook it, curl it enough and get it on the green and rolling down that slope because you really don't want to you know using all of that slope because if you use all of that slope you end up usually passing the hole so you want to be a little bit more shallow with your the way you play that and not have it roll the whole way 
you know, to the very right of the green or, or, or to the very deep side. You want to just keep it kind of how I did there, which was getting it to stop like, you know, three quarters to so 60, 70 percent up that slope and then just funnel down towards the hole. So hopefully uh, that guide helps you. Uh, there's really no other strategy for playing that hole other than, you know, just adjusting accordingly. Let's say, hypothetically, um, you had a straight right wind. That, that, that can be one of the more challenging winds to play. So you want to do more or less what I just did there, but you'll want to even play it a little bit more aggressive to the left. You'll just aim a couple more clicks to the left, maybe like two, two more rings of the circle to the left of where I was aiming there because you really need to counter that count, that side spin that's going to happen because of the way that the landing zone is. So again, um, with, with as much wind as you're getting in Tour 11, you want to really make sure that when you alter your shots, you know, the, that wind is going to make that shot shape at least a bar, like a bar or two of top spin, side spin, whatever, you know that that's automatically gonna apply like two extra bars, no matter what, whichever direction. So you just wanna make sure that you're like accounting for that no matter how you play that. Is you wanna always make sure whether, whatever wind, which, whichever way it's pointing, that that shot shape is gonna change at least about a bar and a half, two bars of whichever direction your shot will shape, will automatically change it no matter what. So keep that in mind. And aside from that, hopefully uh, this video helps you at least set up an aim and kind of a general idea of what you do and just make sure that you're essentially always trying to do like a full curl there, whatever you can uh, to, ma to make sure. Uh, the only exception would be if it was maybe like a left, for example, then you could use, like, like if it was a left wind, well then you could use half curl if you wanted, because a half curl is essentially a full curl. So, hope this helps, and uh, hopefully you guys can get closer to the pin on that uh, par three. And keep, keep an eye out for um, the other two as well. I'm gonna try to do all three of these par threes.